Hello and welcome to the attempt tutorial of C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the arithmetic operator. The arithmetic operator basically allow you to perform mathematical functions. There are five different arithmetic operators. There's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. You've probably heard of all five of them. The one that you may not have heard of is modulus but the others if you've done any sort of educational maths you will have heard of them or at least you should have. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. So let's just quickly get rid of like let's just get rid of the end part. And I'm gonna do STD and line. And in here we'll just be doing our um, arithmetic operators. We'll be putting them in here with some numbers. You can obviously assign values to variables as well, so you could do variable I'll leave that as it is variable name equals bloody bloody blah whatever we're gonna put it in our stdc out but this is just easier to show so the first one the addition operator so let's just do five plus six uh, and as you will write in real life it is the the symbol plus like this basically across and you run it we get the result of 11 that's it <laughs> not much more to show obviously you can do it with float values integer values and what have you and next we're going to do is 5 minus 99 your minus 94 so obviously it does support negative numbers as well next we're going to do multiplication so we're going to do 3 times by 9 to do a time you use the asterisk uh, which is above the 8 on my keyboard, it may not be above the 8, but basically you use the asterisk, so we get 27 once this is run. The next operator we're going to look at is division, so I'm going to do 4 divided by 2, and the divide is a forward slash. So there we go, we got 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And the final one we're going to look at is modular so you just do five percent then the number you want to modulus by two we'll run it and you get a result of why am I thinking that modulus works it basically divides and the answer or the result is the remainder so if I were to put six modulus three you get zero because there's no remainder, but if I put f uh, 4, you'll get 2, because of the whole number, it goes into it once, uh, but there's still 2 remaining. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the compound assignment operator. If you have any, I mean, if you need the source code, you can get it via links in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.